the biggest and most active. The phone doesn't do it justice. Some uh, late October, early November morning, I'll probably collect all three of them. This is not the same business park as the Planner Squamosa. I did see a lot of Squamosa and Aquilofrons and Germanic workers in this business park, but didn't locate any nests. But I did locate three bald faced white nests. See a male up there. Try to zoom in, but the quality sucks when you zoom in. Nice colors in all these nests. There's a fat nest. Leaves are obstructing it and the phone doesn't do it justice, but believe me, once I get this thing out, see what I mean. but the front has a very scallop look but then if you look in the back it's smooth. very interesting I think construction's complete but it's probably got you know, a couple weeks left of life it's just interesting how like in the front it's real scallop and rough looking but the back is more smoother sheets nice nest and I think uh, probably bald faced horn and aerial yellow jacket are the best nest to collect because they're just the sturdiest and maybe not comb wise they're not as interesting but just for all other purposes I think they're, they're probably the best. Easiest to collect and display and preserve. Best built. Uh, two bald faced hornets nest. Um, I got out of uh, two adjacent bushes probably about 10 feet apart. Um, I found them back in October. 
Um, and it's interesting because this one was in a rhododendron. And you can see like, um, even though they were so close together, um, they still have um, different uh, color swirls of paper. Like this is a lot of uh, light browns, some dark browns in it, as you can see, but it's more like light gray and white and light brown. Um, very pretty nest. And whereas this nest has a lot of darker swirls in it. So it's like, even though they were two neighboring colonies, the, it's like the workers went to different wood sources uh, to build the nest. But this one I just ripped out of the shrub because I didn't want to damage um, the shrub because it, you know, if I can minimize the damage, um, then I do. And plus it uh, gives a good view into the uh, inside there. You can see the, the cells. Um, there's a dead worker there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's like kind of in the shadow, but um, everything's hatched out. Um, not sure how many combs it has, but you can see um, see the cells. I think it's got four combs, from what I can tell. Um, so pretty cool. See the cells in there. Very nice looking nest. Um, they probably were, I'd say, maybe around 200 worker nests each of them. Um, I did get. This envelope here, this paper, did come off of the nest, so like I could, if I wanted to, I could like fix it up. And then there's another large one that I, I might check on. That one still might be active. It's November 8th, but um, even that one should be winding down by now, but it would be cool to get all three. This one I got out perfectly intact, and as you can see, this one uh, somewhat, but like I said, it makes a good uh, display. And again, with this species, um, the top comb is... The only rear worker is in the top comb. Where's the aerial yellow jacket? I did a video on that a few months ago. And that had three worker combs, and then the third comb had queens on the side, and then there were workers on the fourth comb. But with this species, they only have the first, the, the first, the top comb only produces workers, and all the other combs, like these you can see here, would have been uh, queens and males. Um, and they can sometimes have queen cells on the periphery of the top comb, but they never have workers on any comb other than the first, which is um, like this species in a Vespula vidua. There's another species that does it that way, so they're unique in that regard. But yeah, kind of cool, um, different colors. Like I said, they're right close together, but um, different uh, colors of paper. So, all right. where it was. It's in a rhododendron like uh, one of the smaller ones. Um, had some vines going through it too that I had to trim but wasn't too bad. Wasn't as bad as I thought. All three nests side by side. There were about five or six workers that flew out of the nest so I did have to suit up. They were sluggish but they could still fly and about three or four of them did come at me but I had to kill them because um, I didn't want to risk this nest getting eaten by a bird or something damaging it in the following week, so I just wanted to collect it. It's got a beautiful uh, top knot up there. Kind of see the size difference. This one's probably the smallest, but it's hard to say because the combs could actually be larger than the ones in here. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the biggest one. Like I said, there were about five or six workers left. I didn't see any males or queens, so they probably all left. Trimmed it up a little bit. Um, got some damage in the back. That was from, like, in the wind, like, branches would um, rub against it and it damaged the envelope, but it's no big deal. It's got similar stripes to this nest, the light brown. But um, other than the damage here at the bottom to the uh, very outside of the envelope, there's not really any issues with it. A little bit up here, but it's kind of to be expected. Um, so yeah, like the top of it up there. I love those peaks at the top. It's pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching. Figuring out flash or no flash, I'm actually in my storage area. Um, the interesting thing I wanted to mention, I did take the envelope apart. I'm not a big nest collector. I'm more trying to see what 
the output of uh, the nest were um, just to see the queen versus male production and uh, total worker count. But anyway, <clears throat> this was a smaller nest from the rhododendron. And as you can see, the cells are large. These uh, bottom cells, at least, has got three combs, so it wasn't quite as, as big as this other one, even though they had more envelope. Um, but um, it seemed like this nest focused on mostly queens. As you can see, like the, the cocoon remains go well above the cell, and the cells look real fat in these two combs. And then the, the this comb up here, of course, is all um, produced workers. You can see the cell difference. Whereas this nest looks like um, it made uh, more males, like the cells aren't as large. Actually, I'll put the flash on. The cells aren't as large as the ones here. I'm trying to hold the phone in the, the nest at the same time. But so like with this nest, it looks like it had mostly queens in the reproductive, the bottom two combs. Whereas with this nest, look, they, you see the cell cocoons don't go as high over, at least in this comb. And then like right here, you can kind of see um, the cells are larger. So these would have been queens here, like a queen there. And then back there, there's some cocoon remains. The cell goes higher. But a lot of these other cells here in the, the larger reproductive comes looks like it was they were smaller. So they produced most this this colony was mostly males. And this is interesting because it was right next to the next to the other one. So. Maybe one colony focused more on making males so they could fertilize the queens, um, as in this nest, and just made a few queens. Um, whereas this nest made mostly queens and not as only a couple males. Just uh, so, just something that, that I noticed. And as you can see again, the, these cells are much. This is the top comb, and this would have been mostly workers, produced all workers. Whereas uh, this bottom two are reproductive, but just interesting, so the difference, uh, most of the cells, cocoon remains go, uh, the cocoon remains go below the rim, except for maybe like this one here, and then there's some, like I said, back there that are higher up, back there, so like, produced a few queens, but mostly males in this nest, looks like mostly queens, see like a low rim there, so. A few males, but mostly queens in this nest. Right, thanks for watching. With the um, the larger nest here, I was actually just going to leave it intact, if you're wondering. But if I do decide to open it up to see if it did have a difference uh, with um, the queen-to-male ratio, I will uh, be sure to share it on YouTube. All right.